सात सुरों से बनती है सरगम और सात सुरों से बनता है संगीत और इन्हीं सुरों को पिरो के सुर ने बनाया है अपना एल्बम असर वेल दिस माइट बी साउंडिंग लाइक अ लिटिल टंग ट्विस्टर टू ऑल ऑफ यू बट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आर गेस्ट टू नाइट सुर हुज डेब्यू सिंगल असर इज आउट नाउ ऑन ऑल स्ट्रीमिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स सो लेट्स इन्वाइट हिम ऑनलाइन एंड गेट टू नो मोर अबाउट हिज लाइफ एंड हिज जर्नी बट 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 बिफोर दैट लेट मी जस्ट रिमाइंड यू दैट दिस चिट चैट इज ऑर्गनाइज बाई ड्रीम चेजर मीडिया प्रोडक्शन एंड सपोर्टेड बाई स्वाद इन द सेंटर आई जस्ट होप दैट सुर इज देर वेल येस ही इज हेलो मनीष हेलो दीपांजन मुखर्जी जी ओके सो यस या हाय हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड थैंक यू हाउ आर यू यू हैविंग अ गुड संडे यस वेल टिल नाउ यस सो यू नो आई विल बी आई आई थिंक इट विल बी मच बेटर आफ्टर यू नो हियरिंग लाइक लिसनिंग टू ऑल योर सॉन्ग्स इट विल बी मच म्यूजिकल ओके हैव यू बीन एंजॉयिंग योर संडे सो फार Yes, uh, Sunday has been like lazy Sunday. Not not that lazy though, but then uh, kind of yes. I was just lazing around till the time I realized that you know I need to prepare for my interview. So uh, <laughs> okay, so sir, tell me one thing. Like you know, you had like you know the lockdown thing, which I have been asking almost to all the guests. How did you spend the lockdown period? And you know, what is the new thing that you did apart from singing? Apart from you know, probably uh, related to singing. What is the new thing that you did? Well, as you mentioned, the uh, singing. I mean, yeah. I got very lucky that in the middle of the lockdown, this uh, latest single of mine, Asar, got released. So that definitely yeah. took up a lot of my time. Okay. But as a new habit, um, I wouldn't say it was a new habit that I formed, but it's an it's an mm-hmm. old habit that I got back into and and mm-hmm. uh, old passion that you revived. Yeah, there was two things yeah. that I got into that I used to love when I was younger, and I stopped doing okay. them for a long time. And one of okay. them was exercising. the other one mm-hmm. was uh, meditation those okay. are the two things that really kind of got me through the lockdown to be honest otherwise That's another great. very bad habit that i picked up was watching a lot of tv i oh. have to be honest with i managed to drop that pretty quickly yeah 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 that can be done because uh, that's something that you know if you just get yourself uh, more into your music so you know you won't be watching tv yeah mm, exactly exactly so uh, so tell me like you know one thing that i want to know about your album is that you know it's out now i've been uh, like you know i have uh, heard that song and it's a beautiful song so you know Thank about you. that song yeah so how you got this and you know the all the details about that song so the song is called asar and it released uh, about 9 9 days ago now on the 4th of september okay it okay. released with the sterling reserve music project and universal music you were asking me um, about how i coped with the lockdown well Mm. Basically what had happened was that my manager contacted me when mm. uh, I was back in London I'd gone back mm-hmm. to be with my family. Okay. He contacted me and said that Universal Music are doing a competition and the winner will have mm-hmm. this song released. Mm-hmm. They will also have a video made. And I wasn't okay. interested at first. I didn't want okay. to be uh, yeah. a competition winner who got his music out. Okay. But when I looked at the other artists who were involved and I saw that Shan Sir the the great Bollywood singer Yeah. Was on the panel of judges and Devra yeah. Sanyal was also the head okay. of the uh, Universal. That these yeah. guys were conducting the contest. I thought, okay, let me give it a shot. Yeah. So I sent my songs in and I completely forgot about it. Okay. But then about uh, a week or two later, I got uh-huh. a phone call saying, "Hi, congratulations, sir. Your song has been shortlisted." Okay. So I was then told that I had to audition in front of Shansa and I had to audition mm-hmm. in front of. Uh, the right. head of um, MD uh, the MD of Universal and that was very nerve-wracking for me to get like mm-hmm. this in a in front of a, a phone in front of these great uh, yeah. artists and yeah. people in our industry and I performed the song and the next day I got to know that okay you're a winner we'll be releasing your song and they uh, wow. gave me a great team to work with and while I was in the UK the rest mm-hmm. of my team was in Bombay and we were oh. having to shoot the entire music video over a Zoom call all the work that we did was happening over zoom calls and whatsapp chats so it was a very strange oh. experience i've oh, never had okay. such an experience okay so so basically the video which you have released it's you know it's the reality you know that that's what happened to you you know in that video also you are actually giving a competition and then you know finally you won that okay that's yeah. that's that's amazing so uh, so you know how was it experience like you know as you said you know over the zoom call it's actually sounding a little bit uh, absurd but then you know if you are saying that because 
I saw that song and I didn't feel that you know you have recorded in you know like half of the team in India and half of the team in London because uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that's what creativity is and uh, so how was the experience you know when you got into that you know the the experience was amazing um mm-hmm. I got to watch a wonderful team from London who had never yeah. worked in mm-hmm. Bollywood or Punjabi music, yeah. music video yeah. before yeah they were collaborating with this team in India who they yeah. never met each other these two teams Yet yeah they managed to work together so beautifully they communicated mm-hmm. so well with one another that right. we finished with this wonderful product but um right shooting in the lockdown was very hard because originally there was meant to be another actress in the video okay but two days before we shot the video she tested positive for corona oh so oh, oh. we had okay. to cancel the entire shoot well delay yeah. the shoot for two weeks because okay. i couldn't put myself and my team members yeah. at risk Right. So in those next 3 or 4 days we were going crazy trying to find a new actress trying to find yeah. somebody who could fill the spot. Yeah. And it was weird that before getting in to do a video shoot everybody's having to take coronavirus tests or all wearing masks yeah. in between shoots. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. feel like a normal shoot. So yeah. in that sense the experience was very unique but um Yeah. It's something I won't forget because I was lucky to work with such great teams with such yeah. good people. So. Yeah. I was very it was very very happy to have the opportunity to do that. Yeah, so it's like you know as they say um like you know all that ends well is you know a good thing. So Yeah. So uh, tell me like uh, you know you're talking about this kind of experience like it's actually like very uh, you know what do you say overwhelming in the sense that you know uh, your actress got uh, you know corona positive and you know we all have been going through all these such scenarios so uh, mm-hmm. can you just you know first of all uh, you know before going into any more questions i would like you to sing one song you know so that we can just be you know get that on a lighter note and then probably okay, i'll ask sure. more questions yeah yeah no, so no, uh, you know i actually um, i saw like one video of yours in your instagram thing which was an english song yeah. so if you can just sing that yeah okay sure just give me one second to get the yeah surely the surely <laughs> yeah so um if you're talking about the songs on my instagram this is a song mm-hmm. that uh, i covered this song i think most people will know it or will recognize it mm-hmm. but uh mm-hmm. it means a lot to me i think it will mean a lot to a lot of people mm-hmm. so enjoy is this all it's gonna be shimmers on my feet they laid me down and the sky turned pink and is this all it's gonna be cold shimmers on my feet they laid me down and the sky turned pink ਮੈਂ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਜੀਲੀਆਂ ਰੋਸ਼ਨੀ ਮੈਂ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਪੀ ਲਈਆਂ ਰੰਗਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਹਾਣੀਆਂ ਚੱਕ ਚੱਕ ਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਹੰਗਲੀਆਂ ਚੱਟ ਗਈਆਂ school for Asia from the movie the sky is pink uh, originally wow. that movie by uh, yes. Evan Gio and yeah. uh, actually Asia's brother so that song was very very important to me uh, especially last year that was beautiful so, that was very beautiful and uh, sir sir i want to know this thing uh, was there you know before you were born was there any prophecy uh, by the angels to your like you know given to your parents that you know ki uh, ladka hone wala hai wo suro ka dhani hoga so you know name him uh, sur ya fir you know how did they came up with this unique name that's all i want to know and you know how did so, it get to the, okay so yeah. i mean yeah I, i think my family always knew that i was going to be into entertainment in some way 
uh, because really? of every party I would yeah be every party I would get up and I'd be the uh, the guy grabbing the microphone to sing or um, and how I was old were you I I don't even remember I mean there's childhood videos of me dancing in the living room to Michael Jackson and uh, huh. Bangra oh. songs and stuff like that okay. I was I always loved this side of things but okay. but to disappoint you my birth name is not sir I'm sorry for okay. that <laughs> Okay okay <laughs> my, my actual name is uh, Supreet Suri okay. and uh, okay. when I moved to India like people started giving me nicknames and I guess as I was singing a lot they yeah. chopped the i off of Suri and started calling yeah. me Suri yeah That's so a very common just, trend in abroad, you know, isn't it? That's a very common Diljit, exactly. you know, is yeah, short into Dil, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's right. So, what do yeah. people call you? Too short. Your name is already so short, Asha. What's the nickname, I, Ash? Maybe Ash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And actually, my nickname is Ashu, but then people call. You know, it all depends. Whatever they call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So okay, so we got that mystery solved. So you know, let's move on. And you know, what we want to know right now is that how your journey began. Like you know, as you said, that you were the one who was like taking all the center of attraction. You know, in the parties and all. And so how it all started in the sense that you know, कैसे आपको पहला break मिला? I think um, when I was a child, when I was very very young, mm -hmm. there was a lot of music always playing in my house. my mom was a big fan of bollywood my Achha. dad was a big fan of ghazals and uh, kabali okay. okay. so i would hear all of this music yeah. all of the time yeah. then because yeah. i was born in the uk and my mom yeah. was also born in the uk she okay. used to listen to a lot of english pop music as well like yeah. i said michael jackson the beatles all yeah. of these things yeah <clears throat> so i became I, i i loved that whole idea of being able to just express an emotion because of music because of that so so at your place there was musical air normal air ke sath musical air thi okay there was a musical yeah. air but then my father yeah. was also a filmmaker yeah. so uh, he was constantly shooting and i was uh, i was just surrounded oh. by this this type of environment this vibe yeah. filmmakers yeah. photographers musicians yeah. actors yeah. Uh, yeah. and i loved it when I, when i had the choice of doing business and studying or yeah. doing music it yeah. was a no brainer i knew that i i, I should have studied more but i knew yeah. that i should have done music but okay. i think my my initial days of singing started in the satsang actually when i was very very young oh my, okay my parents asked me that would you like to sing because satsang is largely in punjabi and yeah. hindi yeah and yeah. there are no english singers and we need somebody who can come forward and sing songs okay. of praise in english yeah so the first few times i did that i realized that i was singing about something that i was passionate about and something that yeah. i believed in. and yeah. because of that i think it gave me um it gave me a lot of desire to keep on singing okay. so, like skip to many many years later when i was a teenager i i started a band with my friends and i yeah. naturally fell in love with a girl and i decided to uh, put the two things together let me try and write a song for this girl oh. so uh, so okay. i wrote a song you have a yeah, you yeah. have a pretty filmy you know like instances all over it you know so it, okay yeah <laughs> please go ahead <laughs> okay so so i was only a teenager i must have been uh, 16 or 17 and okay. uh, fell in love with this girl it was forbidden because i was an indian boy and she was a chilean girl so you know oh, oh, a lot of okay. people were saying no it can't happen yeah and i wrote this song for her like a very very basic yeah. love song and uh, we recorded this song mm -hmm. at college we had studios in college so we recorded the song there yeah we then later got to know yeah. that there was a competition happening again a competition was happening on the bbc main yeah. tv channels they yeah. were doing battle of the bands yeah so we sent the song yeah. in we got through to the last five unfortunately okay. we didn't win but from the fact that we got on to tv i was yeah. then sort of uh, noticed or discovered by uh, diamond dugal who was the uh, main dj and producer of a punjabi band called swami based in the uk okay. Okay. So as an 18 year old I was suddenly getting contacted by this band who were doing really well. They had a very big song at the time. Yeah. I got to go and join them and within a month I was traveling the world touring with these guys so I really? even though we didn't win that competition and I didn't end up with that girl somewhere Yeah, that's what I, that, that that's something I was about to say that you know see that girl girl you know gave you the inspiration and you know you are here right now you know sitting in front of us <laughs> yeah yeah okay. i think there are so many great songs out there that are inspired somewhere by some woman yeah. somewhere yeah. there are so many yeah. women that have inspired so much great art 
And yeah. we don't we don't know most of their names, so yeah, we owe it to all the women. Thank you, <laughs> all of you for inspiring us okay. so much. Um, okay, yeah. So then you got it, and then you know from there you start you know travel the world, and but then you realize that now you need to go single, and that's how you know you told about the competition. Yeah. That's right. So the truth is, I I loved being in Swami. I was only eighteen mm-hmm. years old, and I was playing yeah. everywhere. I was playing all over Europe. We mm-hmm. played Canada, India. We played mm-hmm. the MTV Awards. We mm-hmm. we got to do so many big things as a part of this band. Mm-hmm. But um, I I always felt like I was a part of somebody else's project. Yeah. As much as I was passionate about this, I felt like I'm using my youthful years, the best yeah. of my energy on yeah. on a project. Essentially, I I can't even be entirely myself in this. Right. I'm having right. to play a role in a group. Uh, right. So I decided to move to India in 2015. I moved to Delhi in 2015. Okay. Started writing songs with Hindi writers and started shooting music videos here. Right. And I moved to Bombay in 2017. Mm-hmm. And after moving to Bombay, I uh, I did all those typical things. I did TV ads. Mm-hmm. I did voiceovers. I did mm-hmm. um, all these small jobs here and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. My foot into yeah. the door. I produced music yeah. for some. Uh, well-known uh, Bollywood artists, mm-hmm. and I was composing and writing with these guys. So I, I was able to meet some some great talent in the industry, and and meet a lot of awesome people who eventually came to help me quite a lot. Mm-hmm. So after two years of being in Bombay, only then did I get this opportunity to release my own music. This is my yeah. fifth year running in India. Yeah. So you know you have earned it the hard way. I must say that. And uh, Sura, one more thing I want to ask is that you know, like, which is the best compliment you have received so far from some uh, celebrity or from you know any fraternity? Like it could be a singer, composer, and which you loved really, you know, and you know you really treasure that compliment. Somebody giving you some compliment. I think um, well, number one, I don't react very well to compliments. I start to get shy and I don't know how to respond to them. But. Okay. Uh, I I did receive one compliment from a music producer I was working with in Bombay okay. that uh I I was doing a song for an ad and the mm-hmm. the guys who were in the room kept telling me oh try to sound like Arjun no 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 mm-hmm. try to sound like Sonam so mm-hmm. I was I was doing all these different things and then the main yeah. music producer walked in and said guys why are we doing this we've yeah. called him because we like his voice as he sounds yeah, yeah. you know they said He started talking about my voice in front of his musicians. Yeah. That listen, yeah. Sor sounds Punjabi, but he has a huskiness and he has an R&B yeah. vibe. Let's yeah. let's use his voice. Let's not try yeah. to make him sound like somebody else, because yeah. we can't get another singer that sounds like Sor. And for me, that wasn't just a compliment, but it was also an eye opener. That yes. reminded me that often you get into situations where people try to make you sound yes. or look like someone yeah. else. Yeah. And you have to put your foot down and remember that you know or maybe I'm bully you in some way. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so for me I think that was a that was a really nice compliment to be uh to be told that we want your voice for how your voice sounds and don't Great. change it too much. So I I do have another note, compliment. There's yeah, one more yeah, compliment yeah, that I just remembered. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. The year that I moved to India, I was I was yeah. working on some writing for a very big singer called Zohair Hasan. Yeah. And he was friends with Salman Khan, and uh, mm-hmm. the day that I was hanging out with him in a in a restaurant in Bombay, he got yeah. a message from Salman sir saying, "I'm shooting. Come to the studio. Come and check it out." Yeah. So yeah. we all went there together, and I had no idea yeah. that I was going to be meeting Salman Khan that yeah. day. Otherwise, I would yeah. be dressed yeah. a bit differently. Yeah. And while while we were sitting there, I was very quiet, making sure yeah. not to say anything. And yeah. uh, this singer friend of mine passes the earphone to Salman and says, mm-hmm. "Check out these songs we're working on." So yeah. Salman is listening, and after a few few minutes, he's he looks at me and says, "Is this your voice?" I said, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. Very cool, bro. Very cool. <laughs> and, then get, and in those two minutes, I thought, "Chalo, okay, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is good for yeah, me." My, uh, yeah, my evening has been made right now. So evening has been made exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Hi, great. So yeah. <laughs> So you know, well, people are uh, telling you know in this when you were talking, you know, a lot of people said they loved your new album, Masar, and uh, you know. Mm-hmm. So I would also ask all of you guys to go and check check out the new album, his debut single on all streaming platforms, and you know, even I have done that, and I really loved it. And I've been playing that. You know, you asked me how your Sunday evening. Well, I played your song almost twice or thrice today, so I really loved it. 
and uh, so on that note i really want to uh, to sing one more song like you know we'll actually make you sing this uh, the debut single at the end because you know the desserts come at the end and okay. uh, so maybe um, maybe right now um, any punjabi or hindi okay i i was going to do punjabi but then i thought um, let me try giving you something in hindi because uh, uh -huh. i'm doing a lot of punjabi stuff these days and i actually miss singing in hindi okay mm -hmm. This song again um this was one of the first songs that I covered when I first moved to India so I I love this song a lot. Okay. And uh forgive me if I'm making mistakes because I haven't sung it for I sang it for a long time. Okay. Mm छोटे मोसे रंग तेरा ढोलना एक तेरे बाजों दूजा मेरा कोई मोलना बोलना माही बोलना बोलना माही बोलना सुरजी आपने तो समा बांध दिया एंड यू नो ऑल द हार्ट्स वर जस्ट गोइंग आउट एंड आउट एंड आउट सो बहुत ही प्यारा था बहुत ही सोलफुल था दैट्स दैट्स वन थिंग आई वांट टू टेल यू राइट नाउ बहुत ही अच्छा था एंड यू नो सो ओके दैट दैट जस्ट यू नो इन अ यू नो फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकंड्स आई फॉरगॉट व्हाट शुड बी माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बट याद आ गया वापस से एंड ओके सो आफ्टर ऑल योर जर्नी एंड ऑल सो व्हाट आई वांट टू नो इज दैट आपका बचपन you know i'm very sure that you know you must be a very naughty kid and you know as a naughty <laughs> kid what are all the mischiefs that you have done and you know sari to nahi bata paoge but then you know out of them the two or three memorable ones which you really think then you used you know stood out from the crowd and you did something very miserable or very funny i don't i don't know if i was a naughty kid but i think i was a dumb kid i <laughs> i did okay. a lot of, i did a lot of dumb things that maybe weren't very naughty i was um My mom used to have a lot of uh, grooming products. Yeah. You know, she had all these different creams and hairsprays yeah. and things like yeah. that. She was a yeah. very, very, very beautiful lady, but she had a lot of products also. Yeah. So um, I was always intrigued and fascinated that what does this gadget do? What does that gadget yeah. do? And how do yeah. I use it? Yeah. So uh, one time she had this this electronic trimmer mm -hmm. that was supposed to like trim bits of your this, that, and the other. Okay. And okay. I. I didn't know what this thing was for. I just saw her doing these things. <laughs> so one day I came into the her bedroom and I saw that this gadget was It's available. Like, yeah. Nobody was using it. Yeah. yeah. So I picked it up and I started using it on oh my eyebrows. Oh my god. And before I knew it I shaved my entire eyebrow off like the entire <laughs> eyebrow was gone completely. And um, Oh my god. And I I forgot that I'd done this I even forgot that I had you know shaved my eyebrow yeah. I went outside I'm chilling in the And you just did room. on one of one of the eyebrows 
just one because by the time i done this like i'm bored i told you i was a i was a dumb kid so i, uh, I did the one eye bar i forgot about the other one i went out and started partying yeah. and then uh my dad saw me and just looked at me yeah. and said sukrit yeah. what's happened to your eye bro yeah and i yeah. immediately panicked and thought oh god like yeah. he's gonna find out yeah. he's gonna, uh, yeah. beat me yeah. or he's gonna yeah. really discipline me so i started yeah. lying i said that oh my yeah. sister I had an older yeah. sister from Nepal. Yeah. I said that yeah. we were play fighting and she got a bottle of hairspray which is known to make yeah. your hair fall out and she yeah. sprayed it all over my face and she must have sprayed my eyebrow my eyebrow fell. So then my dad came into my mom's room and he saw the hair all over the uh, the desk. Four year old giving that much explanation you know can't be dumb. Can't be I was dumb. a very good I was a very good I, I was I had I had good imagination. I liked to lie, yeah. but I wasn't oh, a good yeah. liar. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I wasn't a okay. good liar. Okay. Another one. I think my. I've always loved animals. I'm crazy for animals. Dogs, mm-hmm. cats, squirrels, anything. Yeah. I, I love yeah. animals. Yeah. And, um, my dad also loves them, but my mom is not so fond. Yeah. So uh, I remember we used to live. Our house used to be above our place of business. Mm-hmm. and i was the boss's son so there were mm-hmm. a lot of people working for my father who were much older yeah. than me but yeah. with me being a kid i somehow felt like i could tell these guys yeah. what to do yeah so there was a pet store that had opened up around the corner you from could us. be a you boss be... baby isn't it <laughs> <laughs> i i tried to be i tried to be maybe i yeah. wasn't but i tried to be yeah okay um, yeah so this this pet store opened and i went in there and i kept i would go there every saturday and look around and yeah. see yeah. gerbils and cats and rabbits and dogs and all these things so um i took one day i took this employee of my father's and said you know yeah. you have to come with me uh he asked me where are we going i said don't worry yeah. just take 5 minutes break you're coming with me yeah so he came with me to the pet shop mm-hmm. when we got to the pet shop i asked him okay you have to be an adult you have mm. to go there and buy this uh little rabbit for me and they can't yeah. ask any questions yeah so yeah. this poor guy buys a rabbit for me he buys a hutch he buys all the stuff that i need yeah and i snuck this rabbit and jumbled into the back of my house okay and i took it upstairs and i hid it inside my room under my clothes there oh was no God. proper cage for this rabbit no food i just assumed that i'd be okay i hid okay. this thing under my clothes and now my my mom eventually called me downstairs and said Supreeta I saw you sneaking into the back of the house with a box in your yeah. hand. Yeah. And she was worried I was taking drugs or something. She asked me <laughs> what did you have in the box? Why are you yeah. sneaking into the house? What's this? Yeah. yeah. I was more scared to show her an animal than drugs. I think it would have been okay to show her. <laughs> so when I finally okay. came downstairs and I opened the box and yeah. showed her this, you know, little rabbit yeah. inside the box, she was screaming. Yeah. She jumped yeah. upon the table, the dining table. Yeah. She yeah. started calling my father, "Mummy, come upstairs, yeah. see what your son has done, yeah. see what your son has done." <laughs> When he finally came upstairs. Yeah, exactly. My my father came up the stairs and said, "Oh, but yeah. Nina, look how beautiful it is. Let's <laughs> okay. let's not get rid of it. Let's buy it a cage. Okay. Let's do everything." Okay. So, okay. Okay. I think okay. a lot of the times my my I tried to be clever when I wasn't clever and I often got yeah. caught out. Okay. Okay. That was my, okay. yeah. That was my yeah, mystery. Yeah, but but that was that was like a cute uh, you know mystery I could say that you know because generally you know people like you know there's a habit like even for that you know uh, when we were as kids like you know we know uh, some cats who has given kittens so we always try to you know get those kittens you know and you know play with mm-hmm. them or get them home you know this is the normal thing people who love animals they used to do that. So it's a yeah. cute one. So uh, tell me um, so like you know after this like you know after this debut single what are your future plans what are you like planning or what are your dreams to you know achieve well i'm i think a musician never really stops so even once your yeah. single comes out yeah. you're already working on five or six other songs at the same time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so while i'm really pleased that asar has released and mm-hmm. it's had such wonderful feedback from yeah. so many people um yeah. part of me wants to enjoy this experience and be in the moment and feel mm-hmm. all of this mm-hmm. but the other part of me is continuing to call up all the artists that I'm working with and make sure that all of the songs are ready i plan to keep yeah. releasing music now uh, okay. even though this pandemic has uh, turned a lot of things upside down and we don't yeah. know when we yeah. can release or how it can Way release too. Yeah. Even if I can't release music with big companies the way I I released my uh, yeah. debut single I yeah. would love to really continue to release my music with a company like Universal yeah. or yeah. Sony or any of these large companies. Even if that can't happen I plan to continue to release music independently anyway. 
but isn't it that's a great great inspiration that you know even during lockdown you know re- you release that single and you know whatever you the story that you are telling you know we couldn't make out that you know from the single we we thought that you know it's been done uh, in a you know proper way in a you know proper this thing so i think you know anything can be done all you need is good you know will you know where there is a will there is a way so that's an old saying but you know it always works perfectly so okay so you want to keep growing that's you know all we want to you know uh do in our life and you know we all wish you the same and uh, is there anything that you want to tell your fans your followers before you we actually get into the last segment where you know you would play that song your new debut album yeah i just want to say a massive massive thank you to everybody that has listened to the song they've liked mm-hmm. it they've commented they've shared it mm-hmm. all the feedback that i've been getting has been wonderful i for anybody who's involved in a creative field like even you you know that when you're in the process of creating something yes you really love it in that moment because you're yeah. pouring your heart and soul into Very it true. yeah but then a few months pass between the time that you're making that product and the time that the mm-hmm. product comes out mm-hmm. and what starts to happen is when the product releases you're not so sure now that mm-hmm. how will people respond to this yeah and the fact that overwhelmingly i've had so much love from people when yes in our industries you put yourself in front of people yeah. and you know that people often who are bored and have nothing else to do they start yeah. to point fingers they start to attack yeah 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 things. yeah that's that's very normal you know i think people uh, they don't you know such people don't have much life or probably they don't love their life <laughs> so it could be it, it, yeah it could be that it could be that they're bored it could be that they genuinely yeah. don't like the music that we're yeah. making i don't yeah. know but the yeah. truth is for for people to have the ability to do that but mm-hmm. in this in the case of usher to not have to to face so much of that to mm-hmm. get so much love and appreciation mm-hmm. honestly like that is one of the main reasons you get into music when you're young it's because Maybe. you enjoy the love that yeah. you receive at the yeah. singing yeah you enjoy yeah. the attention that you get when it's good yeah. attention and the only thing i want to say is that guys please if you haven't already heard the song or seen the video please do check it out the link is in my profile Let me know what you think whether it's good or bad I would love to know your thoughts and if everybody shares it with at least one person we can help it to grow keep listening Surely. to music keep supporting independent artists and uh Surely. keep me gosh up because she's doing a great job so thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much but you know we can't just leave you like that you need to actually sing that song <clears throat> what's your answer ha huh? of course okay okay we can asar, do this asar bhi to hoga asar bhi to hoga <laughs> aapke gaane ka <laughs> Right. Very true. Okay, so I've been doing uh, quite a few live chats the last few days mm-hmm. and uh, I've been singing Asar a little bit differently uh, mm-hmm. in each of these. Um, okay. But for you I'll sing the same version that I did in the audition. So cool. the way that I'll do it now is the way that uh, Sean Sir had it and Devraj and all these guys got to hear it. So I okay. hope that you audience will enjoy it and I hope that you'll enjoy yes. it too. Yes. Surely, surely. Hun ni sute da jeen na la ke shirt a rakh da hun te la ke han ji ke da ਪੁੱਛਦਾ ਕੇ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਾਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਸੁਣਦਾ ਬੇ ਕੇ ਕੁੜੀਏ ਨਿਆ ਨਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੱਸਦਾ ਗਿਆ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਚ ਰੋਇਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਚੰਗਾ ਹਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਐਸਰ ਤੇਰੇ ਹੋਰ ਦਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਚੰਗਾ ਹਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਐਸਰ ਤੇਰੇ ਹੋਰ ਦਾ ਸੁਣ 
उसके बीच में आर एन बी आर्टिस्ट भी आया था एंड यू नो आई लव दैट यू नो आई रियली लव दैट या सो बेसिकली यू नो वन ऑफ यूर फॉलोअर्स गिनिया some day saying one of your other albums you have been working and uh, you know made earlier so uh, so that's how we get, got to know that you know aap aage bhi aane wale bahut sare album mein kaam kar rahe hain i want to actually in all... this moment if you don't mind i'd like to take a minute to acknowledge uh, that follower gimi and eja thank you very much yeah yeah my sure. first um, moved to bombay she helped me find uh, the right apartment for me and i actually oh. started suggesting she's a numerologist and astrologer Okay. I personally don't um, engage in these things but yeah. truthfully uh, most of the things that she's offered up towards me have okay. uh, usually gone in my favor so I I try to stay open minded to everything and I thank her very much for her help and her blessings and the things that oh, I've been doing. Oh that's so, that's amazing Ginny uh, that's amazing and you know I'm sure that you know you will also keep doing great you know like you know i'm talking to Ginny in the sense that Ginny will also do great things in future because uh, Okay, she's a tarot card reader. She has selected herself. <laughs> If anybody wants to know your future, talk to Ginny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody wants to know the future, how to improve or correct the future, you know, whatever the spellings and all. You said numerologist. So basically, I think she corrected that. She said she's a tarot card reader. Okay, okay, and uh, <laughs> right. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'm seriously, you know, it was an amazing evening. Now my evening, Sunday evening, is well made, and you know, I'm really happy that you know I could listen to you live. And um, we always wish you the best, and you know, hope to see you somewhere up there. You know, where we can say, okay, so I can also say that you know, this guy I interviewed in the initial debut single, and you know, you can make all of us proud. So thank you so much for taking out your time and coming thank and doing so this much. live. Yes. Thank okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, Gini <laughs> still 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 you know saying that she's not an astrologer. She is. <laughs> Sorry, I meant okay. to say numerologist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, but Asha, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking your time out to talk to me, ask me some non-typical questions and to help me uh just give people an idea about Asha. I really appreciate it. Keep going strong. I I believe that you started this whole chat in the middle of this lockdown so you also yeah. used uh that period to grow and develop yourself and uh I really appreciate that so thank you so yeah. so much I'm glad that you yeah. gave me time on your show See all all and, the uh, uh, all I want yeah. to say to all the people is that you know spread positivity mera to naam hi aasha hai so I can't be nirasha you know uh, that's how I say that so you know that's why i i was talking about like you know naam ka bahut asar hota hai so i want to spread positivity and i want to say that you know only positive things negative definitely agar kisi mein hai to pyar se batao that's all i want to say but not in like you know like punjabi mein bolte na batte maar ke nahi pyar se batao <laughs> exactly, <laughs> so exactly. yeah so okay uh, thank you gini thank you for all the compliments gini is showering with you know both of us with a lot of compliments thank you so much uh, thank you sunny ji thank you everybody who is watching i would like to you know uh, tell you once again that you know the new debut album of sur is out now on all streaming platform and also you know if you want to check out the video it's there on his uh, bio link right so right. thank you exactly. thank you once again sur and thank you know you so have much. a great day and have a good uh, evening. thank you everybody i'll leave yeah. you here you can yeah. do your sign up good night everyone thank you asar uh, yeah asar <laughs> uh, yes okay bye bye